Okay, this is um, section 7.3, the uh, homework voiceover for the solutions. So we start out like we do in 7.1 and 7.2. The first thing I ask you to do is to calculate the error. I'm giving you the error formula here. Once again, we're back to back where we were. We, we, we were in 7.1 finding Z scores, which is nice because you have all 14 of those. Um, the only difference is, is how you calculate this portion, the standard deviation, so to speak, here. All right, so we need a, uh, we want to have a 95% confidence um, level, and n is 460, x is 100. So here's the case where he does not tell us p hat. Well, p hat, p hat is x over n. All right, in this case here, it's 100 over 460. Correct the three decimal places, and I would encourage this for preciseness, a minimum of three decimal places. In fact, I would set that as a standard. So if P hat is 0.217, and obviously Q hat is 1 minus 2.217.783. And after that, it's just plugging in numbers into your calculator. The Z score associated with 95% is 1.96. There's your P hat, there's your Q hat. And once again, what you're not seeing is the division by N, all right, because of the limitation of the screen of the TI. All that being said, hitting enter 0.377, and you can see it matches up exactly. Number two, um, same idea here. He doesn't tell us p hat. So to calculate p hat, it's x over n. Uh, x, remember, x and r are yeah, synonymous. So it's 900 over 4,500. Uh, You're finding the proportion of the sample, all right, p hat, sample proportion. 0.200, Q hat is 1 minus that. The, um, the Z-score associated with a 99% confidence level is uh, 2.575. There you see it right there. So in place of Z, you're putting in 2.575 times the square root of N times P, P hat times Q hat divided by N. Now, since P hat was 0.200, I can get away with just using 0.2 times Q, I'm using 0.8, divided by N, which was 4,500. Hit enter, and you can see the answer is exactly correct here, 0 0.0154. Three doesn't change, except that, well, now the confidence level that you're looking for is 95%. The Z-score associated with 95% is 1.96. You see it right here. Um, here he tells me what P hat is. He gives it to me as a percentage. All right, 30% of the sample um, were successful, were successes. So 30% is a decimal, 0 0.30. So Q hat is 1 minus that, 0 0.70. Once again, because of the 0, I can get away with just saying 0 0.3 times 0 0.7. So it's my Z score times the square root of P hat, I'm using 0 0.3, times Q hat, I'm using 0 0.7, divided by N, which is 600. And you can see how things match up very nicely. Four identical in the sets where I'm asking you to find the error. We want to have a 99% confidence level. So the Z score that's associated with 99% is 2.575. So in place of Z, I'm substituting in 2.575. P hat is given to me at 40%, but we have to um, change that obviously to a decimal 40%. My proportion is 0 0.40. Q hat is 1 minus that, 0.60. And once again, because of the zeros in the hundreds place, I get it. I can just simply put 0.4 times 0.6. The zero is not needed. Divided by divided by n, which is given to me as 1180. And once again, you can see the correspondence 0 0.0367 letter C. All right. I guess I give you one more. Number five goes back to here. You like numbers one, two. One and two, where you don't know what P hat is, all right? So it's like finding a proportion. Finding proportion is like finding a probability. Favorable over total. 97 people out of 184 college students had a part-time job. The proportion is this decimal, 97 over 184.527. Then Q is equal to 1 minus that. But notice, correct to three places. If I do this three places, I'm going to ensure myself I'm going to get an answer that's spot on. 
All right, so we're looking for a 95% confidence interval, the z score that's associated with 95%, 1.96 times the square root of p hat, 0.527 times q hat, 0.473 divided by n, and n in this case is equal to 184. All right, so you can't, you can't see it's divided by n, 184. That's the n value. And once again, you can see things match up exactly, let it be. All right, when, it, when we switch gears, now I'm asking you to find the entire interval. And much like 7, 1, and 7, 2, the calculator does everything. All you're doing is putting it, in this case, you're only putting in three numbers. It really doesn't get much easier than this when I ask you to find the entire interval, conference interval. All right, so I go to stat. Go to test, come down to letter A, one prop Z interval, letter A. It asks me for X, N, and it's the C level. Well, there's my X, there's my N, and 95%. I'm using 95, you could use 0.95. I've said this a few times before. And that's all there is to it. It ends up make sure you get your emotes at the three places. And you can see how it matches up exactly. Seven, the same thing. I mean, Placing X with 69 and with 103. 88 confidence, percent confidence level. All right. Put those three numbers in. And here again, hit enter. And I had mine correct to uh, three places. And notice he tells me what P hat is. That's what I need to know that. And he regurgitates what N is. Not that I need to know that. This is what I'm looking for. This confidence interval right here between 0.598 and... 0.742. I'm 88% confident that the true population proportion lies between these two numbers. And you see it matches up exactly. 8 is no different. In place of X, I'm substituting 130. There's my end value, my 95% confidence level. And hitting enter, I get between 775, 0.775, and 892. It matches up exactly. Now, this is a little close, but hey, this is right on, so your calculator is going to give you the right on, spot on answer. Number nine, exactly the same. One prop Z interval, X in this case is 39, N is 93, a 98% confidence level hitting, uh, going to one prop Z interval. Stat test letter A. 0 0.300 and 0 0.538. Very important that you have your modes at the three places so this will match up exactly the three places. You're not doing any rounding on your own. All right, so we start out finding area, then we find the confidence interval, and then the last thing is to find the sample size. Now, there's two formulas, but they're actually the one and the same. One where P, and Q, P hat and Q hat are unknown. If p hat and q hat are unknown, the formula tells me to multiply p hat times q hat. Well, if they're unknown, what I'm going to do is use p hat to be 0.5 and q hat to be 0.5. All that being said, p hat right here, p hat times q hat is going to end up to be always 0.25 when you don't know. When you're not given p hat and q hat, they're unknown, you use 0.5 for both of them, and you, when you multiply them, you always get 0.25. So here's the formula. You're looking for a 94% confidence um, level. The Z score that's associated with 94%. There it is, 1.88. I've got to square that times 0.25. I just didn't put the zero in front of the decimal point. Was it necessary? Divided by, here's the error here, three one thousandths, and then making sure that I'm squaring that. Now, as this was the case in the previous two sections, you round up to the next highest number, 98,177, round it up and be 98,178. Uh, number 11, same thing. You don't know P hat and Q hat, so we're using 0.5 for each of them. Therefore, the product is 0.25. The Z score associated with 99%, 2.575, but I've got to square that times 0.25 divided by the error, which is 0 0.009, and my, my equation tells me to square that. And once again, rounding up 20,464, rounded up to the next highest number, would be 20,465. 
All right, now we do know P hat is given to us. All right, P hat is given to us. So, looking for a 95% confidence level. Is Z score is 1.96. There it is, and I'm told to square that. P hat is given to me as 66%. All right, that changed to a decimal, it's 0.66. Q hat is 1 minus that, 0.34. So there it is. In place of P hat, I'm substituting 0.66. In place of Q hat, I'm substituting 0.34 divided by the error squared. The error here is 0 0.03. You can't see it off to the end here, 0 0.03 squared. And rounding 957.8 to the next highest number is 900. 957 to the next highest number is 958. Once again, 14, we still know P hat is given to us as 0.92, or 92%. We're looking for a 95% confidence level. Z score is 1.96. So 1.96 in place of Z score, I'm substituting 1.96, I'm squaring that. P hat is 0.92. Q hat is 1 minus that of 0 0.08. There it is right there, divided by your E, your error squared, and your error in this case was 0 0.09. You just can't see it off to the side. 34.9 rounded up is, is 35. And that is that. Okay, I hope that helps.